Today, I wanted to talk to you a little bit about some of the excitement happening around Wi-Fi 6E. Um, the reason we're so excited about it is that today's wireless networks are really limited by the amount of available spectrum. We have 2.4 gigahertz, we have 5 gigahertz, and um, what we're seeing is that the number of client devices is increasing, um, more than 6.2 billion this year, as well as IoT devices, more streaming um, and more use of the cloud. And that's impacting um, the, the amount, uh, the performance and, uh, and also some of the capacity. And so what we're looking at is this adoption of a new standard and um, that's Wi-Fi 6E. Wi-Fi 6E extends Wi-Fi into the six gigahertz spectrum and um, and what that does, it actually stands for Wi-Fi 6 Extended, that's the E, and it allows for more capacity. In the US, it's, it's 1,200 megahertz more capacity, um, and it also allows for wider channels. Although there are wider channels today, most companies simply aren't using them because they don't have um, enough uh, capacity to do so. It also allows for less uh, interference. So if you think about it like a superhighway, we always use traffic um, analogies with Wi-Fi. Um, it's like adding another four-lane superhighway to the four lanes that you already have. Only the good news is, is that in this one, um, the new one, it's only for fast vehicles. Your Teslas, your Porsches, all those great fast vehicles, while my um, minivan is relegated to the, the five gigahertz spectrum. Um, one of the things that we're seeing is that Wi-Fi 6E is rolling out globally and there's been a ton of momentum. If we think back a year ago, um, the FCC was just approving what the six gigahertz ban for Wi-Fi and now there are more than 70, there are 70 countries today that are either have approved it or in the process of approving it, um, accounting for 3.4 billion people. And you can look at the visual and really see how it is actually doubling the amount of capacity. Um, and so some companies may need that capacity today. Many others are looking to refresh their existing Wi-Fi and find that it makes sense to future-proof their investment, um, maybe getting up to 50% more life out of their Wi-Fi refresh by going with Wi-Fi 6E. Um, as global companies prepare to roll out uh, Wi-Fi 6E, um, they're looking at really what is happening on a global map. So some countries, as I mentioned, have already approved it. But one of the things that we are able to do is, um, is, is really look at how we can um, support countries as they uh, gain more, they gain their approvals, and that they are now able to use Wi-Fi 6E. So what we're doing is we're really envisioning what that next generation Wi-Fi 6E products looks like. Um, we're, what we would expect is that it would have three radios, one that would be for each band that would give you a very high maximum aggregate rate across all the bands. In addition, um, it will give you the seven in the U.S., fewer in, in EMEA, but the seven ultra-wide 160 um, megahertz channels that allow you to invest in some of those emerging technologies, whether it's um, high definition video or whether it's augmented reality and virtual reality.